Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Pumpy Mix Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for uh, stopping by and joining me here as we play a little bit more Age of Wonders 3. This is episode 5. We just finished the first of the tutorial campaign stuff. The whole thing is considered like a tutorial that grows and gets bigger and better and stronger. So we're going to assume there's still going to be some tutorialized stuff going on, but we don't know for certain. That being said, it looked like Thanos was going to go diplomat himself up in this place, and we were going to get his honor guard here and go and do battle with some bandits, which I believe are down this way. I've already started this episode and had to redo it because something happens, and the event was so loud it actually peaked out and almost made me deaf, so I'm sure all of your eardrums would have ruptured and been bleeding profusely. So I decided to restart it. It happens pretty quickly, so... I readjusted some of the volume, so if things sound slightly quieter, it's because I adjusted a lot of stuff. So, hopefully it still sounds good enough and it's okay. Let me know if I need to up any of the sounds, and we'll see where that takes us. Well, that being said, let's begin. We'll select ourselves a research. We want our crows, because that's how we roll the Tome of Wonders. It will be good to be free. Okay, it will be good to be free to do as I please for a while, without my father and his advisors planning my every move. Before I left, I took my Tome of Wonders with me. It's filled with all sorts or all kinds of useful knowledge. All right, we'll dismiss that hint. Being a leader, it is time for me to lead and determine my own destiny. There are many ways I can do that. I should strive to improve myself. I can do this through battle and through study. All right, um, and let's see, merging armies. I should join with the army that has left me as an honor guard. We will dismiss that and finally hunting bandits. Thanos and I have heard movement in the woods. Brigands have set up camp to waylay innocent pilgrims. Thanos' scouts have found their hideout. I should clear it out to stop them from harassing anyone further. All right, and there you have it, folks. That is our mission. So we're going to join with the Honor Guard here, and we have a full grouping of folks. We have no spells that are of any use right now, which is totally okay. And we're going to hop on down this way, go down the road, Grab up some mana crystals, and then we're going to go over here to do battle with the nasty. All right, let's end our turn. A new day dawns, and it is time for us to do battle with the menace. All right, so everything should be a little bit more muted or a little bit quieter than it was before. So we're going to be going up against a bunch of human scoundrels. Makes sense. Bandits, scoundrels. By the way, folks, I just did my first audition for voice acting. I think it's in a cartoon. I don't know that I get the part. I felt like I was probably top three, but it was a pretty late audition. The audition's closed tomorrow, and I got it up today. And there's somebody who seems to be really, 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 really ridiculously good. I know all about action points. You guys do as well. I'm pretty sure I've explained most of the stuff that you need to know by now. So, I am not going to dally with it any further. That being said, I will move forward with my long bowmen. Do a little bit of damage to those guys. They are behind a wall. And as we all know, being behind a wall is a very, very bad thing. For some people. It's actually not that bad, really. But Alright, and bam! Get handled. Alright, what are we doing now? We're going to send our High Elf Union Guard over here to slapify the... Oh, they're so weak that they couldn't even destroy that. That's pretty pathetically sad. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit embarrassed for them. Alright, the scoundrels will take a little tiny bit more damage. And finally, we should be able to murder them. Do we have any offensive spell? Oh, we do. We have the... Oh, yes, 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 yes. We're going to suffocate, but we're going to move fur forward first before we suffocate. We're going to fur for fear for fur for fur for fear for fur for fur. Because of reasons and stuff. Alright, do we want to suffocate or what? The answer is yes. It's cheaper for us to do that. So we said good day to you. So be suffocated, be eliminated, and be dead. Alright. We'll end our turn. It is the enemy's turn to dance the dance of death. And inflict crippling wounds upon our very bodies. Alright, uh, line of sight penalty. Maybe if we move here, there's none? Yeah! Ugh, it felt good. Alright, we're gonna do a little bit of murder death killing there. I would say that moving here with our swordsmen is not a bad play. Moving here with you is also probably not a bad play. We'll use the acid darts. This does 9 damage. This does. 
actually quite a bit more. Eh. Let's do it. Boom, boom, and wreck. Alright, there it is. Victory is ours. Minor damage all the way across the board. Obviously, it was kind of a, a gimme one, right? Thanos congratulates you. Well done, sister. They will not trouble anyone anymore. The talks are not bearing fruit at all yet. I don't like it. Most lords do not seem inclined to even listen to us. I will try to find out what their true motives are. The brigand's missing. Um, thank you, brother, and good luck with that. However, it seems I am not finished yet. It appears that a number of brigands were not accounted for, and there are many tracks leading south. There is a high elf village there, Eldaste, which may be in danger. It looks like we'll be heading south. We have completed this mission, though. Hey, we got a vicious short sword. We will take the reward. Alright, so as I kind of alluded to in the past, we got the Enigmatic Shield or Igmonious Shield, I don't remember what it was. We got some sort of shield last time. We have all these various different slots. We have a weapon slot, we have a shield slot, we have headgear, we have two trinkets or accessories. We have chest, pants, and a mount slot. And then we have multiple things that we'll be able to use. So, we're going to put the short sword, which isn't going to do a tremendous amount, but it is a melee weapon and it will increase our melee strength. So we'll get to do a little bit more melee damage. What the heck was that sound? Did you guys hear that? I have no idea what that was, and I apologize for it. I might have stuff open that I... I... Do you hear random screaming? I... Alright, folks. Sorry about whatever that was. I don't know. Sometimes you have random stuff open in the background, and it doesn't make sounds, and then you'll mouse over a certain part of your screen, and it will trigger. I'm assuming it was something along those lines. I have no idea what that was, but I do apologize. <laughs> that was uh, weird. My eyes definitely opened wide, like, what is happening? So I made sure I closed anything I don't normally have open. All right, we must make our way to Eldaste, which is down this way. So let's head on south to do this. And it looks as though there is a shrine over here that is not guarded by any neutrals. We'll be able to fully heal off of it, so that sounds good. All right, let's end our turn. Alright, that was still pretty loud, and I apologize. It's actually 50% quieter than it was before. But that was the very loud and obnoxious sound I heard before when I went and I changed a bunch of sound settings and everything else. So, I apologize if it was still really loud, we'll see. Gamblag declares war. Sundren, this treachery will not go unanswered. Your brother has broken the peace by attacking one of my guests, Yizo. Tan Thanos fell in the attempt, just as the rebels you incite against me have fallen. I have raised their villages as a lesson to others. Their blood is on your hands. What? Thanos, no! My beloved brother dead? Why? There is no rebellion and there were no rebels in those villages. You murdered innocent people. And Thanos would never be the first one to attack. Surrender or suffer. Your lies cannot sway me, rogue. The actions of you and your brother have made it clear to me that you... Or that the Commonwealth is the only reasonable party here, so I have joined with them. Sundrin recollects herself. It is the so-called Peaceful Council that is the lie. I will find out what truly happened. My troops, we will replenish our strength in Eldaste. We need to raise an army now. The traitorous orc betrayed his duty and the trust of the Elven Court. He shall die. Gamblag declared war on you. He's got a halo. How could we possibly want to kill him? He's clearly innocent. We will make your death slow and painful. Well, that's not good. Aldaste is in danger. Sundrin, your highness, brigands are threatening to burn our city down. Please help us vanquish them. You will not interfere. We will deal with you first. Die. No, you shall die. Attack A! Alright, so we're gonna go in and do some more combat, folks. Hopefully this all works out. Bad Juju Magumbo went down. Apparently our brother was killed. The council sees the High Elves as a threat. And, yeah, some very interesting things are afoot. It's not great. However, what is pretty good is the fact that we should be able to annihilate the vast majority of these guys without much of an issue. Alright, so what are we up against here? I'm assuming a bunch of scoundrels, scoundrel, 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 and an assassin. Oh, assassin strike. Not pleasant. Hmm. Well, we'll definitely have to make sure that goes down. 
All right. Well, we're gonna do a little bit of damage to you. Guess. Oh. Okay. They were not the people I thought they were. It's a little bit awkward. Oh, good. They hit us with something that prevented us from. Oh, never mind. We just slowed our movement. We're still fine. Okay. Well, what can we do now? I don't know, but that assassin is going to destroy our souls. Oh, these are swordsmen. Hmm. Well, I got you dead. Our high elf union guard will not survive that. Die fence! Sorry. Um, hmm. Is there any way we can, like, prevent you from moving forward? Attempts to panic the unit. Well, how much of a chance? We have a 40% chance to do that. Hmm. Well, how far can he move? Oh, he can move really far. Alright. Well, then we better move up this way. Can we shoot that far with our darts of doom? Oh, we can. We're not going to do much. How much health is this thing? Oh, 50 health. My goodness. Alright, things are not looking good for us, unfortunately. But that's okay. We have the panic attack. We're going to give it a shot. Oh, we panicked him for two turns. Like a boss. Alright, we should be fine. He's going to freak out. He's going to run like a scared little pixie. Or something that's afraid. I, I don't... Are pixies normally terrified or scared in some way? Oh, we just got ensnared. Interesting. Alright. Our long bowmen. We have a few of them. Well, we should be able to flank you and do a fairly decent job of murder. Yep, our decent job of murder worked out pretty darn well for us. And you guys are 100% no longer alive. Can we break out of our nets? I don't think so. Can you cast a spell still? Nope. Okay, so we're netted for two turns. So we have to make sure that we are prepared for his return. When he does decide to come back. Alright, well, I guess we end it. He's going to continually retreat. Uh, we should be recovered by the... Oh, we regrew something. I didn't know we were missing parts, but apparently we're very plant-like in some ways, I guess. Possibly. I'm not entirely certain, but okay. Alright, we have ended our turn. They are going to come back toward us. And we will be able to utilize a few casty... Sp oh, no, we won't. Hmm. Alright, how close can you get? Not nearly close enough to be of any consequence. To move to there. It should be outside your range, and yet it's not. Okay, we're gonna move there. Apparently I'm bad at uh, figuring out people's range. Our High Elf Longbowmen are going to move into position as is Sundren and the rest of the crew. Guess we'll move here. Alright, so there we go. We're done. We're ready. We're ending the turn. He's going to move forward, and then we're going to do murder. It's going to be glorious, folks. Glorious, glorious murder. Alright, so we avoided the assassin's assassination strike, which is pretty good. Uh, we have swordsmen that we could uh, probably flank with, but why would we really want to? We're going to come around here, back to this side. Ooh, they hit us with a severely poisoning strike. They seem to be resistant to our long bowitude. But that's okay. Our high elf swordsmen say, Good day, sir. And there it is. Victory is ours. They ranked up, and no one died. It's a miracle. The city thanks you. Thank you so much, your highness. These were no normal bandits. They have been harassing us persistently for a long time now, getting more aggressive every time. We suspect they are supported by Gamblag. He does nothing to stop them. We are exhausted and weakened. Could we ask you to protect the city with your forces and leadership? But of course! Now that we have a foothold here, it's time to think about our next step. Gamblag has closed off the teleporter, but there is a way through the mountains east of Eldaste. We are, I can order the city to build some troops while I go east. He will pay. Alright, intriguing. And pretty cool, but hey, we were victorious. Make our way to Eldaste. We have done so. And they are now friends of ours. The teleporter was there, so we no longer have to worry about that. 
So we'll have to expand out to the east and start doing murder, death, killing, and all that wonderful fun stuff. There's another long bowman here. I feel like the Union Guard is kind of meh. But we'll we'll continue to roll with it. What is this? Oh, we have a whole bunch of random stuff here to, to learn about guys and gals. Alright, Thanos of House Eniok has lost, so he is no longer alive. He was killed. We'll return to the map. That's unfortunate. You are now at peace with the outpost of Eldaste. Fantastic. You meet the friendly outpost. Yay. This is now our throne city concealment. These bandits have an assassin with them. We're lucky to catch them out in the open so we can see him. Assassins are masters of concealment. Bum, bum, bum. So if they were in any kind of like forest or any kind of cover, we actually wouldn't have found them unless we rolled right up on top of them. So it's good that we did that. All right, our throne city. I have a city under my rule now, and as it is the first one, it is automatically my throne city. I can escape here when I am gravely wounded in battle. If necessary, I can move my throne city to a different city later on. Structures outside domains. This mana node does not lie within anyone's domain. It cannot generate income until it does so. We will also need to defeat any units guarding it as it prevents us from getting income even if it does lie within our domain. Alright, and structures inside the domain. This great farm lies in our domain, and it is explored and undefended. Sweet. As a result, it is automatically claimed for us, and we own it. It will provide extra population for us each turn. With enough population, our city will grow. As will its domain. So, that being said... We're probably going to head to the west here, and we have a little bit of time left before we have to break out of this. Let's see, find a way... We need to get to Gamblag, I need to find Thanos' body to give him a proper burial, and the pool is part of the ancient heritage of the High Elves. It needs to be retaken. We need to go east and find a way in. And we need to select a production for us. Right, I'm going to go with a storehouse that will generate a little bit more production, or a little bit more population, rather. And then I also like to go with... I'd like to go with the shrine, but there was something else. The Builder's Hall, which I think we already have done. So we don't even need to do that. What is this? Existing upgrades. Yeah, we already have the Builder's Hall, so they already have more production available, which is pretty cool. Alright, so that being said, I guess we'll go shrine next, and we'll leave it at that. And then we'll start grabbing up some more troops and whatnot. Alright, so I'm going to head west. And I can't get what I want to grab right away, but we can grab it now. Oh, the cartographer revealed the next foot that I was going to walk. That's pretty intriguing. Well, as much as I want to head east, I also want to head west. I always like to explore the full map and do all sorts of crazy stuff I'm probably not supposed to. You know how I do, guys. You know how I do. All right, we're going to end our turn. Let's see, and we're going to come down here and we're going to snag up this. We can build a laboratory or an arena. The arena will allow infantry units to be produced at a higher rank, and the laboratory will generate additional research points. Well, I'm going to go with the laboratory. Alright, and now we're going to actually go here, tag up this, and then I guess we are going to head east. So we'll head east right now. We'll just go over to this area and see what's up. Let's see if we can't figure out what to do. He should be strong enough to deal with the one ogre, but he's pretty nasty. And he's got multi- or I thought he said multi-strike, melee strike. That does 21, so he's going to be hard to bring down. But, given the right circumstance, we should be okay. I'm also going to move a bit further. we get on this side of him and then move this one over to help out. We need to research a new skill. We can produce a scoundrel. We can cleanse the land. We can do scout training, bless, quick dash. Cloak and Dagger. I'm going to go with Cloak and Dagger. I want to be able to cast a few more spells than I already can. And, speaking of spells and casting things, it's going to cost us 9 per turn. We're getting 10 per turn, so that's going to be a bit... Eh, but we'll see. Alright, let's end the turn. And let's move to this spot. Let's move you here. Let's cast the spell onto you. And let's do battle. Oh, they don't want to fight us. Well, we're we're on the right side of life, so we're going to be nice and take it over. We've got 29 more mana there, and once our area grows, which it should do in five turns, we'll be looking really, really good, really, really solid. The dwelling of uh, Salanui, sure, Salan Salanui, I don't know. Refuge has a quest available. 
You meet the dwelling. Um, negotiate. Uh, tell me more about this quest of yours. Captured the nearby castle. A few weeks ago, Gamblag built a castle in the north to close off the bridge to all visitors. Now, we don't get any gifts from passing travelers hoping to see a fairy anymore. The castle must be brought down. It's too close to us, and nasty sounds emerge from it at night. It disturbs us. Alright, I will accept this. Does that mean we have open borders? You like us now? You want to be our friends? Yeah, you do. Alright, well, with that, we're going to break off of this, and we're going to go take a quick gander around with our bird. Because bird's the word, everybody knows. Everybody's heard the bird's the word. Alright, so there we go. Bird's the word. That is going. Everything is a sweet, sweet, nice style. I'm not going to cast any more spells. We're not gaining much in the way of mana. We need our population to, to pop, to grow, and then we'll be looking pretty solid. Alright, let's end our turn. And a new skill to research once again. I believe I will probably go with, um, bless, why not? Alright, well, we can go straight there. I feel like we're strong enough to actually even be able to do this battle. So we're going to head over here, we're going to head over here, and we're even going to bring our bird brain along and take the castle over. Alright, this will be a little bit messy, but it shouldn't be too bad. We're going to use Sundren, her one move. She's got more movement than the rest of her troops. We'll be able to move her in, but all of her troops will still come on this battle, so it's going to be fine. Alright, it's a probable victory. It might be a little questionable, but we should be strong enough to deal with it. Orc Exalted is an army leader. He's a tier 3 infantry unit. Could be nasty. They have a great sword. He's looks like he's melee as well. They have another... Ah, this is a martyr. He throws javelins, so he's ranged. And he's a spearman. He throws javelins as well. So they have two ranged and two melee. All right, well, into melee combat, and manual combat we go. We shall do battle, we shall take over the castle, and then we shall be victorious in all things. Hopefully. Maybe not, though. All right, Gamblag gets to go first. Oh, he casted a fireball on us. That's not exactly the most pleasant thing we've ever experienced. Thanks for that. Where is our raven? Way over there, alright. I shall move the raven forward. What kind of spells do we have? Do we have a cure? We do not. We have the rain of poison blades and such, though. Alright, well, I suppose we just kind of have to move up at this point. This is going to be a bit trialing, troubling, trivial. Uh, it's going to be rough, guys, but we should be fine. I would assume, alright. The poison blades should do some work. Those are the martyrs. It's going to hurt them quite badly. So if they want to step to us, they are more than welcome to. Feel bad. I'm pretty sure our long elf, uh, our high elf long bowmen are dead. Or our long, eye, long elf high bowmen will die. My goodness. When you start to butcher something, it's tough to actually continue to butcher it when you know what the right thing is. Well, we lost we lost the extra what was it? The long elf high bowman or the high elf long bowman. They are gone. They are officially gone and done with. All right, we can do a little bit of chip damage there. We should be able to do a bit more here. And a bit more here. Very good. And once again, I'm going to step forward. We're going to use our Reign of Poison Nasty. And rain it down upon them. I hope that was their Spearman. It was. Excellent. The High Elf Union Guard is going to get into position over here. And the Swordsmen are going to get into position over here. And all Crows are going to go over this way, I suppose. I don't know. It's fine. Alright, we're going to end our turn. Let's see what they decide to do. What is their play? They're going to go after the crows. They did one damage. It was very unimpressive. Oh, they broke out. That's kind of shocking. Alright, well, they're not going to survive this, unfortunately, for them. Hmm. 
Nice, we flanked them. Excellent. Alright, we have this. We can do a little tiny bit of poison damage here. It's not ideal, mind you. A little bit more arrow damage there. Also not ideal. And a little bit of a shocking damage right this way. Now, can our crows go up there and do some damage? They can, but it's not going to be enough. I'm going to flap on over here and see what this brings. And... I guess we'll hit the wall, or the gate, and we'll try to get through it. Are they going to fly down and do murder to us, or are we going to be okay? Ow, that hurt. Oh good, they went after the crows, that's perfect. That is literally the ideal situation. Well, looks like another 85 turns, and we'll eventually get through that. Potentially, maybe, maybe we won't, I don't know. How far can they move? Pretty far, but not so far as they can just like close with us instantaneously. Alright. Start scooting our way on over here. I don't believe we... Oh, we do! We can rain poison crap down upon them. Alright. So we lost one of our extra units and we lost our summoned unit. Not that bad. Now, if he decides not to go back up on his wall, he's 100% dead. And even if the guys on the wall decide to come over, they are also going to die a little to death. We made it through the gate. We're heroes. Okay, well, let's get our Storm Sisters to Storm Sister it up. A little bit of a lightning blastitude there. Not so bad. What does our High Elf Longbowman have to bring? Oh, they're death, apparently. Oh, they can't climb walls, huh? That's interesting. Alright, gonna move over here. We're going to do a little bit of a blast. Hopefully she can soak some of the damage. I don't know that she will, but we're hoping. That was your play, huh? That was not a good move. See what you just did right there? You pretty much just fed us your... your, uh, your death. We got a little bit of experience on all of our peeps. So not bad. Our main army survived. We took it. The fairies are happy. Thank you for capturing that dreary castle. You know, fairies have a strong connection with the supernatural. We feel something really wrong here. Some kind of corruption is tainting Gamblag in the pool. We'll join with you to help remove it. Sweet. All right, so there we go. We, like I said, we lost the extras, but not our main army. We've captured the nearby castle, and that is going to do it for this episode, folks. In the next episode, we will continue. We'll continue, hopefully, exploring to the east and to the west, and eventually we'll be victorious, I would imagine, unless I do something really, really foolish, which is possible. It is very possible. Sorry about that, folks. Unfortunately, there's still renovations and stuff going on at the house, so, eh, noise, chaos, distractions, interruptions, you get the whole gist. Anyway, for the proper outro, until the very next episode, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.